I'm Lady Ye Guo of Chen. You're a third rank official. Why aren't you paying me respect? I possess the Phoenix Seal, and I have the duties of the Empress. Why must I greet you? You're a heroine indeed. Madam Lu, I shall cut to the chase. I invited you here today to advise you to be smart. Go convince your emperor to marry our princess and make her the empress. That's a state matter. I'm merely a female official. I have no power to intervene. Your Excellency, you don't have to be modest. On the day of the worship ceremony, your emperor insisted that you receive the homage alongside him. Since that's the case, why did the Emperor of Chen want Princess Tongchang to marry His Majesty? Isn't he afraid, after the wedding, His Majesty will favor me and leave her alone? It seems that you're already prepared for His Majesty to name his Empress. As for leaving her alone, you need not worry about it. Our beautiful Princess will surely be favored by His Majesty. Is that so? You should go and persuade His Majesty then. Why make me the intermediary? It's because after our princess becomes empress, she has to address you as sister. I'm having you do this for your own good. <laughs> you may save your effort. I'm not that fortunate to be sisters with the princess. Your Excellency, why must you say that? I assure you that our princess will be magnanimous. She won't be jealous of you in the future. Oh, she is a princess indeed. A lady of imperial blood and doesn't feel jealous. But I'm wondering if a wife loses even the instinct of jealousy, is she still considered a wife? If a princess needs to use poison to get herself married off, is she still fit to be a princess? If a woman can't even conceive a child, is she still fit to be a woman? What do you mean? Our princess won't be jealous of you. That's simply because no empress will be jealous of an imperial consort who can't conceive. You... Your Excellency, it seems that you're unaware. When you fell off the city wall, your emperor fed you medicine of cool nature. From then onwards, you have become barren. <gasps> you... That's nonsense. How do you know that? Your emperor kept it from you. But he told your uncle the truth. Princess He Kong told the truth to our emperor. If you don't believe me, you can get any doctor to check your pulse. And you'll know whether I'm telling the truth. Your emperor's illness has relapsed. I know you're looking for the antidote. But the medicine is a secret formula of Chen, which has been around for centuries. Other than the antidote I have, no one can cure him. You're despicable! We're doing this for the sake of your emperor. All men want to have their own son. Based on ancient moral principles, you're barren and should be divorced. You shut up! However, due to your major contributions to Northern Chi, our princess allows you to stay. We're doing this for Northern Chi's sake. If you can't give birth to a son, wouldn't Northern Chi be left with no successor? Actually, our princess doesn't have to get married. You have two days. If we don't get your reply, I'll take our princess back. By then, the army of Chim will be waiting for you. And I foresee that your emperor will have gone crazy. Who's going to preside over the situation then? It turns out, what Lady Yuegua said is true. In the future, when we have our own child, I won't be hurry-scurry then. Uh, there's no hurry. We have a long way ahead. Don't worry. There's no rush. Zen, 
Why did you lie to me? Madam Lu, you're finally here. His Majesty just woke up. He read the reports, and since then he's been looking outside the window. I'm sure he's missing you. Mm. I'll go in now. I have a question to ask you. Um, if you can have a child, will you be thrilled? Huh? If I have a child? Mm. Are you making fun of me? I'm a steward. How can a steward have children? Well, I'm asking, what if? I'll certainly be really thrilled then. If a man can't have any children, he can't be called a man. His Majesty is so fond of Gao Wei. If you bear him a child, He'll be elated. Mm. I got it. Hey, you're here, Jen. Yes. I was busy with the state kiln all day. I've been lazy today. Prime Minister Zhang and Jia Yan are handling the court matters for me. <laughs> I was sitting here taking a rest. <sighs> I didn't think you will be working harder than me. So, what can you tell me? Li Dadan brought the workers to start work. The state kiln will soon be back to normal. The weaving and dyeing department is fine too. Empress Lo messed up silk production. But if we cultivate in fall, we can harvest in winter. I'm not talking about that, but about my condition. I know you ordered the doctors not to tell me. That's why they haven't told me the truth. How would they tell you when they don't know what to do? But when I came here just now, the doctors reported to me. They said they found a kind of medicine which can slowly neutralize the poison. You aren't lying. Why would I lie to you? But it isn't an antidote after all. The effects will be slow. You must take it for more than six months to see the results. Time isn't an issue, as long as it can be cured. Mm. Yes, you are right. What's wrong? You seem distracted. I'm fine. I'm just thinking how to explain to Emperor Wen. After all, Princess Tongchang is here. The strong need not explain themselves. At worst, I'll tell the whole country that he poisoned me. And if need be, we'll meet on the battleground. In any case, there's no way that I'll marry Princess Tong Chang. Actually, I've thought about it. Once you became emperor, you couldn't possibly have only one woman. What's wrong, Jen? Are you convinced by Prime Minister Zhang to share your husband? I wonder who told me back then that if a man doesn't like a woman, and yet he goes on to keep her in the palace. All right, stop acting tough. I know you're a jealous woman. <laughs> Jen, I always think that one day when I'm completely healed, and when Princess Tong Chung's matter is resolved, we'll take Wei to a beautiful place somewhere and lead a leisurely life. Like when we were in Wong Village. He'll sew clothes while I catch fish. How happy is that? Oh yes, we must bring the nanny along because I don't think you can look after a child. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm merely overjoyed.
Lady Yueguo, if I convince His Majesty to make your princess empress, can you promise you'll give the antidote to him? Most certainly. The emperor will be our princess's husband. No wife in the world will harm her own husband. Well, you must swear in the name of Princess Tongcheng. His Majesty will be healed after taking the antidote. Also, the Chen army stationed in our land must be withdrawn at once. I swear to God, if I break this oath, Princess and I will be struck down by lightning and die horribly. All right. Go back and prepare the antidote. In two days, I'll get His Majesty to change his mind. Sister, you've embroidered this outfit for two months. It's still unfinished. If you need it, you must work quickly. Where's His Majesty's? Uh, it's over there. I'll get it. Tomorrow night, remember to take it to Zhaoyang Hall. Give it to His Majesty. He'll need it when it's time. Sister, you don't have to worry. No bridegroom would forget that. <sighs> You're right. I brood too much. <laughs> Lily, hmm? I'm heading to check the state kiln tomorrow. Remember to tell Madame Du to take care of matters in the harem. Sure, I'll do that. Greetings, Your Excellency. From now on, you must take care of the little prince. Yes, madam. Sister? Sister? see this letter, I've already left, and I won't be back for a long time. I'm sorry that I lied to you. We haven't found any medicine that can suppress the poison. I don't want you to die, so please marry Princess Tongchan. After the wedding, she'll hand over the antidote to you. For the people of this country and you, I must sacrifice our love. If Northern Qi and the state of Chen continue to be at a stalemate, a war will break out. If that happens, the innocent folks of Northern Chi will face another calamity. Also, I already found out that I'm barren. No emperor in the world will appoint a barren woman as empress. If Princess Tongchang can give birth to your child, I'll have no regrets. I'm your wife, and currently the highest ranking female official if I just cared about our love and sacrificed Northern Chi for you, I would have broken the oath that I made during the award ceremony. And I would have let down the late emperor and empress as well as the people of our country. Therefore, please don't hate the princess. Promise me that you'll marry her happily and make her the empress. If you can do that, I'll return to the palace to see you one day. Otherwise, we'll never meet again in this lifetime. Don't send anyone to look for me. The world is so vast, you won't be able to find traces of me. Dad, don't be sad for me. In my heart, you'll always be my husband. Brother Shen, let's part ways here. Thank you. You've made up your mind? 
<laughs> He'll be very sad. Pointless to prolong the misery. Once this is resolved, I'll send someone. Brother Shen, thanks a lot. Jen, actually, you and I can... Brother Shen, like I said, in my lifetime, Jan is my only husband. <laughs> All right. Have a safe journey. Mm. Brother Shen, take care. decrees that he shall get married and make Princess Tang Chong the Empress. The ceremony shall be held today. The end. Your Majesty, how could you appoint the Empress so hastily? It's the mourning period for the late Emperor now. We need to wait for at least seven days. And also, my mind is set. Anyone who objects shall be executed. Majesty, today you're the bridegroom. Try to cheer up. I did as she said and made another woman empress. You still want me to cheer up? I know that for the sake of the people and to save my life, she has gone off alone. Therefore, I can't let her down. I can appoint the Empress. But since I've married Princess Tong Chang and made her Empress, I fulfilled my promise. There have also been many Empresses who died suddenly. Don't you agree? Your Majesty, are you going to... In the first place, if Lady Yuguo and Princess Tong Chang didn't leave Jen with no choice, how would she have found out that she's barren? She wouldn't have gone away by herself. They tried to harm my most beloved woman. They must pay the price. Aren't you leaving yet? Your princess is now my empress. Don't tell me you want to stay behind and watch. I don't have that intention. I'm still here because I want to give you this. The antidote. After one pill, you'll be fine. lifted her veil. You can go now. Uh, 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 auntie! Auntie! Uh, 
Don't be afraid. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Auntie! Auntie! I'm afraid! Auntie, don't tie me! Your Highness, don't be afraid. Your Highness, here's a sweet for you. Huh? Be good. <laughs> Your Majesty, the Emperor of Chin has forced you to marry our princess because he has run out of options. When Her Highness was small, she jumped into the river with her mother and suffered a brain injury. For more than ten years, her intelligence has been that of an eight-year-old. Our Emperor loves his daughter deeply, but he's severely ill. He only has a few years to live. He gave it some thought. Her Highness's half-brothers can't be trusted. He'd been fretting over that. When he saved you that day, he had made up his mind. This is the only way to entrust Her Highness to you. So you... You got me to marry an invalid to be Empress? Your Majesty, please empathize with our Emperor's love for his daughter. Our Emperor feels sorry for you. Here. Here's the deed of ten cities. From now on, they shall belong to Northern Chi. You think I'm Empress Lo? Will I give up on Jen because of ten cities? I don't have that intention. Our Emperor said that our princess only needs the Empress title. She'll behave and spend the rest of her life in the Imperial Palace. I was arrogant because I wanted Her Highness to appear powerful. I know that Madame Lu has a phoenix seal. Except for the Empress title, she is still the highest ranking female official. Majesty, please forgive us. Please be appeased. Just vent your anger at me. Her Highness is innocent. Mm -hmm. Uncle. Uncle. W why you look so sad? Mm, how about this? I'll give you a sweet. <laughs> She has forsaken the title of Empress. Would she still care if she's the highest ranking female official? She's already left. <laughs> Auntie! Your Highness. Your Majesty, it's so late. Where are you going? Your Majesty. Uncle Zhang, shall I break the door down? Wait for a while longer. Greetings, Greetings Your Majesty. Majesty. Spare the formalities. Thank, Thank you, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Help me get a fresh set of clothes. I'm attending morning court. No, Your Majesty, after the wedding, officials are taking three days off. You're right. I'm going to Zhao Yang Hall then. I'll read the reports. Hey, Majesty! Wait! Uh, 
How are you all right? I'm fine now. Don't worry about me. She has gone far away for Northern Chi and me. If I don't, if I don't live on well and be a wise ruler, I won't be fit to be her husband. because she's gone somewhere really far away. When she's tired, she'll return. Oh. Go and play. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come, chase me. Business at the state kiln is worsening every year. The three-year contract with Tu Yuhun has ended, but they still haven't renewed the contract with us. There's nothing I can do. That's right. Without Madame Lu here, the state kiln hasn't seen any development. The weaving and dyeing department has also been stagnant. She isn't here. There's nothing I can do. Just keep them running. It's her effort after all. I can't just stop them. Mm. Your Majesty, are you having a relapse again? I'm fine. I've just been working hard lately. Just a headache. I want to... Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty. Get the physician! Your Majesty. Diane, look at me. I'm just in my 30s, but my health is worse. You should find someone to take care of you. There's no need. Jen has gone to the West. We aren't sure when we'll hear news of her. She said she'll return. I have faith. That's why I'm waiting. I'll wait for a lifetime. <clears throat> why is there a deeply devoted couple? Don't worry. She won't let you wait for too long. What do you mean by that? It's just like what you think. Jun, His Majesty had a relapse. If you miss him, please return to the capital. I slept here alone for three years. You have to make it up to me.
10. You've thought it through. You won't leave me again, right? Mm. That's great. From today onwards, unless you or I die, I won't let go of your hand. I also think that way. Chen, Emperor Wen of Chen has passed away. I believe Jia Yan has told you Princess Tong Chung's condition. Right now, there's nothing that stands in our way. I'll appoint you as Empress at once. Zen, between you and me, there's no need to care about the title of Empress. Jen. I let you down three years ago. I don't want to let you down again. Us still being together is the greatest happiness. Zan, Princess Tongchang is innocent. She's an orphan now. If she loses the title of Empress, what else will she have? I'll stay in the harem as a third rank official. Not being an empress is more convenient. Do you know, these years in the West, I found many ways that'll make Northern Chi prosper. The state kiln, weaving and dyeing department. I must apply what I learned to improve on them. But if I were to become empress, I can't do them. Only as a female official. Will I be able to accomplish them? Zen. Other than Han Guang Ho, I'd prefer to be allowed to soar freely. All right. Whatever you'd like to do, I'll let you. First year of Tining, during the reign of Emperor Wu Cheng of Northern Qi, third rank female official Lu Zhen was promoted to be a first rank official. She was in charge of palace matters, the state silk business, and could attend court sessions. Since then, Lu Zhen became the highest ranking female official of Northern Qi. And she also became the actual ruler of the Imperial Harem. His Majesty is holding court! Long live your Majesty! Long live your Majesty! You may rise. Thank you, Your Majesty! Today I shall appoint Madame Lu Jen as a first rank female official. She'll assist with agricultural trade of Northern Qi. I hope all of you will respect and love her. Thank you, Your Majesty. Long live Your Majesty. Long live Your Majesty. Royal Uncle. Together, you and I shall govern this country.
fourth year of her Qing, Emperor Wu Chen of Northern Qi, Gao Zhan, had a relapse, and he passed the throne to the Crown Prince Gao Wei. He ordered Madame Lu Jin to assist in state affairs. Three years later, Gao Zhan passed away in Chan Shou Hall. Excellency, you haven't changed. In my mind, you'll always be that young official who comforted me by the wall. Haven't I changed? No, I've changed. Many things are no longer the same as before. Of course things have changed. You're the first female prime minister ever. That's just a fleeting moment. One must go through ups and downs in life. Only you alone know what it truly feels like. Passed away 15 years later. With the passage of time, the exquisite and peerless palace in the capital of Ye Cheng had gradually lost its former splendor. Only the ruins of the walls remained to remind people of its past. But there'd be people who still remembered there was a young girl named Lu Jun, who pushed open the gates with her soft and gentle hands to embark on the journey of her legendary life.